In the Fairmont Hotel in Washington, high above the elegant lobby, the exclusive rooftop suite is reserved for tens of thousands of bees. 60,000 bees on a rooftop. Right, right. But in the summer, it would have been, you know, 180,000. For Ian Benz and Aaron Weber, two of the hotel chefs, the beekeeping began as a way to serve upscale local honey. I think it's very few things in Washington, D.C. that you can say is like a local flavor. So, and uh, so you can now we have that. it. Yeah, so. you, have, you have local agriculture now. Absolutely. Keeping urban bees is growing worldwide. From London to Chicago to the White House lawn, New York City could be the bootleg bee capital of the world. Bootleg because... It's really illegal to keep bees. It's illegal, but hey, it's New York. Rooftop bees don't bother the neighbors, so who needs to know? What these city keepers learn first is that bees need calm. As seen in the movie Secret Life of Bees, you only approach a hive by slowing yourself way down. Send bees love. Every little thing wants to be loved. And so for Aaron, bees are the antidote to the pressures of the city. You have to come here and be very nice and relaxed. This yeah. is actually a break. Absolutely, yeah. But here's the part of the story that stings. Despite the increasing numbers of these city bees, country bees are in trouble and no one knows why. But without bee pollination, fruits and nuts like apples and almonds could not be mass produced. The rooftop keepers not only hope to repopulate the bees. Beekeeping is really important. They are also keeping one very sweet deal. It's gorgeous. We give bees a roof, they give us crops, and if we show enough love, we get to steal their food. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.